Along California's coastline, two fishing boats head out in search of an underwater plague. And to see what they're up against, we went to meet them. 45 feet below and found a wasteland of purple sea urchins where towering forests of kelp once stood. An ecological disaster we first saw in 2019. A few years ago, these kelp forests stretched all up and down the northern California coast, but they have been decimated. Purple urchin populations exploded following a period of unusually warm ocean water and a mysterious disease that wiped out the sunflower sea star the urchin's natural predator. Right now they're at like 60 to 100 times what we would want to see in a system that's in balance. Dubbed zombie urchins, they can survive with almost no food for decades and have long been considered commercially worthless, empty of their prized roe or uni, a delicacy landing on sushi menus around the world. Over the last decade, commercial divers Harry Lacornick and Stephanie Mutz have watched purple urchins take over. It looks more like a nuclear bomb's hit it. They'll eat anything. But today they're part of an ambitious experiment, hauling thousands of them to this urchin ranching operation near Santa Barbara, where they feast 24 hours a day on a very specific kind of salad. How long does it take to, to fatten them up in these tanks? 10 to 12 weeks, going from empty to just like a, a fat little cream puff. <laughs> A fat little cream puff, a spiky cream puff. A spiky cream puff, <laughs> just like full of like marine custard. Normally chefs seek out uni from the Red Sea urchin because they're bigger. But here the ultimate goal is creating a sustainable market for the smaller purples that could help save California's kelp. We'll freely acknowledge that it's not chicken tenders, it's not necessarily for everyone. For this to really move the needle on this marine ecology problem, you've got to scale it up. And so far, demand is growing. Purple urchins now on display at high-end restaurants like the Broad Street Oyster Company in Malibu. When people come in, they expect to see the big red yes. urchins. Does it take a little while to explain what's going on? It's always an opportunity to have a conversation with the guest, deepen their knowledge, explain to them why we're doing it. All right, look at this. Now, full disclosure, I'm what you might call an uni newbie. I had no idea how many ways it could be served. We've got the pasta, we have the lobster roll, and then we've got the uni straight from the ranch. Uni oysters. Bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. You've got the lobster roll, you've got the butter, you've got the uni. A delicacy of sustainability mm. that leaves you with a taste Perfection. for the sea. Perfection. For today, Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Malibu, California. I was saying no, okay. no, no, yeah, but well, now maybe be selling it. Although oh. I think I have a texture issue with with that. Uh, yeah, with it. Yeah, I don't know that it's for me, but good for Gotti. Good he loves it. it. Good for Gotti. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.